How many days left? Is that like 22 days? All right, so EA finally dropped another video for NCAA 25. I feel like at this point, it's probably one of the most anticipated games for EA probably in a long time because Madden's haven't been to me that great in a minute. Um, I think that's the only game EA really puts out in terms of sports, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, Oh, no, wait. So I'm confused. I'm thinking 2K. Anyways, I digress. Uh, but yeah, they put out a video called Dynasty D Deep Dive, so I'm guessing it has to do with, like, um, I guess this would be what their franchise would be in uh, NCAA 25, so let's see what they've updated and what they're including in this. Hey everyone, Kirk Herbstreet here with EA Sports College Football 25, back for another deep dive. This time we're talking about everyone's favorite mode, Dynasty. Yeah, no, this is gonna be this is gonna be the top thing for everybody, especially if they're doing it. I don't know if they're gonna say it in the video, but especially if you're able to do it with like a group of friends, like um and just have your franchises and or dynasties or whatever schools just have seasons and collectively you guys all together could play each other and all that stuff, like some like some franchise type or fantasy type. Online Dynasty in College Football 25 can accommodate up to 32 teams, and you can play with friends for up to 30 seasons. There you go. Today, we'll seasons. take a closer look at the new 12-team college football playoff, recruiting, the transfer portal, and a ton of customization options to make your program unique. College football has... I haven't seen any videos come out about Madden yet, so I'm wondering if they're putting as much effort into Madden as they are into this or or if they just like kind of hoping and depending on this to I guess carry them for the rest of the year because yeah I haven't seen too much videos come out about Madden especially since this is it's supposed to be released what next month and this is usually around the time that you're seeing gameplay and a bunch of stuff come out so it seems like they're putting a lot of their efforts into this has seen seismic changes over the past few years and in EA Sports College Football 25, you can experience this new landscape while building your program the way you want. The 2024 season marks the debut of the new 12-team college football playoff, and you can play it first in the game months before the real thing. You could be the first coach to lead your school through the new 12-team playoff and hoist the college football. I think I'm I'm wondering what team everybody's going to, I'm sure everybody's going to go with, like, the powerhouse teams, but seeing all these schools now, it's like, damn, you got to start thinking about what school that you're going to go with, like, who are you going to, who are you going to be, uh, who's going to be, who are you going to be supporting? I'm probably going to go with one of the Florida teams, FSU, Miami, or um, Gators, so. Yeah, I'm excited to see what these teams look like when the game actually Football comes out. Recruiting is the lifeblood of college football. And in a yeah. world of unlimited transfers, managing your dynasty roster has never been more important. Listen, man. We got, come to my school, we got Lambos, we got Lambo trucks, we got whatever, Cyber trucks, whatever you want. Come to my school, I got you. I'm going to take care of you. Evaluate your needs and opportunities for talent upgrades at the start of each season. The best way to build a powerhouse is to recruit through the high school ranks. So let's fill up your recruiting board. Each year, over 3,500 high school recruits are generated from all over the country, with certain regions representing real-world hotspots for blue-chip talent, like South Florida and Metro Atlanta. Do research to find recruits that best fit your program. And I don't know what high school this guy's in, but... uh. I want to check his birth certificate. And determine who you can realistically land. A recruit's interest in your school is decided by 14 different pitch grades like... Let's see. Academic prestige, athletic facilities, brand exposure, campus lifestyle, gender coach. Fish. Okay, so... Yeah, I guess you better choose wisely in terms of like who you decide to play with because you go at one of these smaller schools... You're not going to be getting the best recruits. You might get one every once in a while, but like if they're, it's a game. So obviously it's not going to be like you can actually go into somebody's house and talk to them to recruit them. So there, it's actually probably going to really depend on this to where 
it's like if your athletic facilities are trash or program tradition is not there or whatever the case is, then you're not going to get a lot of recruits coming to your school. But like proximity to home, playing that's time, a big one. and brand exposure. So you'll need to discover how your program's pitch grades. So that means I'm only recruiting Florida kids. Recruits' desires, in addition to scouting for talent. Some players have a deal breaker requirement, and if your program cannot provide, the recruit will lock you out. Deal breakers also drive a player's decision to enter the transfer portal. Monitor at. Yeah, this is getting a little too realistic. Risk players and get I'm messing one with last it, chance to convince your favorites to You mean stay. to tell me I could lose my five-star quarterback? They narrow down their top schools, pitch a prospect to gain more interest, and then set up school visits when the timing is right. It's crucial to remain in their top 10, then 8, then 5 to finally be part of their top 3. And you got to do this for every player. Holy to the shit. Top eight, you can attempt to increase your appeal. If your school doesn't have exactly what the prospect is looking for, you can try to sway their opinion in your favor. Plan visits that elevate a recruit's experience, like pairing a quarterback visit with a wide receiver visit at the same time. It's crucial to keep an eye on the transfer portal when it opens in the offseason to round out your roster with talent you couldn't land from recruiting. Add portal prospects to your board just like you would with recruiting, but expect. Not to get off topic, but I don't know. I like the changes NCAA has made recently in terms of the transfer portals and the NIL stuff. Like, I feel like it's finally, the control's finally back in the hands of the athlete as opposed to the school. Because now you can transfer from a school. I don't know what the exact, like, requirements are, but you could transfer from a school and probably be eligible to play the next season, so. I've, I'm glad to see, you know, because a lot of these kids depend on these opportunities to, like, take them to somewhere, if they have the talent, obviously, but if these opportunities, they depend on it to take them to the next level, so you being at a school where you're not getting playing time or your coaches, maybe, maybe they're not really messing with you that much and have an opportunity now to be able to change and go somewhere else, like, that's a, that's a big thing, and NIL, too, like, you know, you're making money off your likeness now, so... Decisions as transfers have a shorter timeline to land a new home. Conference realignment is a hot topic in college football. And with custom conferences in EA Sports College Football 25, Dynasty is yours to control. Mm. See what a 20 team super conference might look like or revert to the traditional conference alignment. Shape the conference size and membership and set custom conference rules, set up divisions and more. Once you've settled your conference options, it's time to select your... So I'm wondering, does this mean then that, um, like, if you do have a group of 20 or whatever and you're making a specific conference, does that mean you're not going to play, like, other schools outside of that? Or? Begin with a highly ranked team and dominate at the top with repeat recruiting and playoff success. Or build from the ground up with a smaller program and prove you have what it takes to go from an unknown to postseason favorite. For what? We can't <laughs> talk about your dynasty without talking about your starting job. Start as an offensive or defensive coordinator and climb the ranks to head coach. Or take over a program as the head coach right away. Choose from one of the three base coaching types to start. Your coach type will determine okay, what coaching skill one. coach type. Motivator, recruiter, tactician. Which of players play their best by leading their ratings. But can't you just hire people to do this after if you're the head coach? Coach type will determine what coaching skill tree you start with. From there, the abilities mm. you acquire as you progress will determine what kind of coach you develop into. Unlock additional skill trees with oh, okay. better abilities. Or if you build up multiple skill trees, you can unlock hybrid trees that leverage a more diverse skill set. This is just like the coaching the co tree thing in the Madden franchise that coaching they have. Similar to it. is an important part of every coach's journey. Whether you're the head man at your dream school or working your way up, the carousel is your way of fielding offers from other programs. Head coaches in Dynasty can actively manage their coordinator positions. 
So if one of your staff takes a job elsewhere or you decide to cut ties for other reasons, you can use the carousel to replace them. Remember, even the greatest coaches need support, and every coach has a unique skill tree. It's important There's so to much think moving about parts. how you want to build your staff. And the NCAA, Whether that's doubling it down seems like, on your existing strengths. Well, to I don't know. I don't want to say it more than the NFL. But, yeah, it's... I hope they put this much effort into making Madden franchise, you know, something similar. I'm sure they'll be able to take parts of it and then transfer it over, but... Yeah, I hope they're actually putting this much effort into the into the other game. So if... Max out your benefits or seeking out balance for a well-rounded staff. Choose wisely. The decisions you make here will matter to your program's success. There we go. That's my team right there. Coach's progression. The benefits of coach talents are stackable. So if your head coach and defensive coordinator have the same ability, the impact for that ability will be greater. Well, that's it for today's deep dive in the dynasty mode in EA Sports College Football 25. To make it game day every day this season, pre-order the... Okay. I don't know, man. I'm liking what they've put out so far. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what happened. But yeah, I don't know. I'm liking what they've, uh, what they've put out so far and what they've, you know, showed in these videos that they've been dropping every now and then. It seems like the game's going to be very, like, the game's going to have a lot of depth. Um, it's going to be a lot of features. So it's exciting to, to see that, you know, especially now since you can kind of, with these new systems like PS5 and Xbox Xs, you can kind of just, if you do get a CD, you can get the CD and then download, like, the, the story or data after. So I think it gives them a lot more freedom or breathing room in terms of, like, actually doing certain things in the game so it's exciting to it's exciting to see like especially with gta coming out too i know that game's gonna be it's probably gonna take up your whole hard drive on the xbox or playstation 5 so yeah it's exciting to see so i guess we'll wait for the next it's like 22 days left until they release the game so i'm sure they'll be releasing videos every now and then so let's see what else they put out but yeah let me know what you guys think you guys gonna be copying this game or is it just gonna be Madden all the way for this season, so we'll see how it turns out. We'll see what everybody thinks of it when it actually does drop.